Okay, so there's this signal from way out in space, and a planet that's totally weird. What if everything we think we know about the universe is wrong? The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has spotted some crazy secrets that could change how we see life itself. Is Proxima B a new Earth, or just a deadly trap? JWST, the most amazing telescope we've got, has been checking out Proxima B, an exoplanet that's got scientists and space fans really excited. Now, with JWST, we're getting a good look at this planet, and what we're seeing is wild. We found Proxima B back in 2013 but it's only now that we can really see what's going on there. The telescope can take pictures using infrared light, so we can see into Proxima B's air and find things we couldn't see before. And what we've found is both cool and a little scary. Proxima B is super close to its star, only about 7.3 million kilometers away. That's less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. It zooms around its star in just 11.2 Earth days. The star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf. These stars are kinda crazy, throwing out big solar flares that can mess with the planets around them. JWST is giving us the best view of Proxima B yet, and we're seeing some crazy stuff. The planet is about 30% bigger than Earth, so it has stronger gravity. But get this, it might be tidally locked with its star. That means one side is always in daylight, and the other is always dark. Can you imagine a world where the sun never sets on one side, and the other is always night? That's a rough place to try to live. The side facing the star would be super hot, and the dark side would be frozen. Could anything survive that? It doesn't seem likely, but you never know. And it's not just the tidal lock. Proxima Centauri is a problem, too. JWST says that the star is way more active than we thought. It shoots out strong solar flares that hit Proxima B with a lot of energy. One flare in 2021 was 100 times stronger than anything we've seen from our sun. That could blow away the planet's air. Some scientists think that Proxima B is too close to its star and gets too many flares for life to exist. Others think that maybe life could adapt to those conditions. Could there be creatures on Proxima B that can handle that crazy environment? Or is the planet just a dead rock? As we keep checking out Proxima B with JWST, we'll probably find more secrets. But one thing's for sure, this little planet, only 4.2 light years away, is way more complicated than we ever thought. Could Proxima B hold the key to how life can survive in the universe? And if it does, what does that mean for our search for aliens? One of the most shocking things we found out about Proxima B is its atmosphere or maybe that it doesn't have one. The radiation from Proxima Centauri, plus how close the planet is, means that Proxima B is always getting hit by solar wind and strong particles. That could have blown away its atmosphere, leaving it empty and cold. But some scientists think that Proxima B might still have a thin layer of air, maybe with gases like carbon dioxide or nitrogen, which could protect it a little. JWST has given us the clearest look at Proxima B's surface so far, and it's both cool and weird. The surface looks rocky, like Earth, but it's different. The side facing Proxima Centauri is probably burned by the heat, making it a desert. The dark side could be frozen, with temperatures way colder than anything on Earth. The most interesting part might be the twilight zone, the strip between the hot and cold sides. Maybe it's not too hot or too cold there, so liquid water could exist. And liquid water is one of the main things you need for life. Could there be a hidden spot in the twilight zone where life has managed to survive, even with the rough conditions? Another crazy thing is the possibility of water under the surface, like on Europa or Enceladus in our solar system. The planet's core or the pull from Proxima B's star could heat these oceans. If they're there, they'd be a great place to look for life hidden under the ice. But there are problems, too. Proxima Centauri's magnetic field makes things even more tricky. Some studies say that the star's field could mess with the planet's core, making Proxima B have its own magnetic field. That could protect the planet's air from being blown away by solar wind, like how Earth's field protects us from the sun. But the star's flares could still be too much for the planet to handle, causing big changes in the climate and surface. These findings make us wonder, does Proxima B have a magnetic field? How strong is it? 
How does it affect the planet's air and the chances for life? Could life on Proxima B have changed to survive the planet's wild conditions? And if there is life, what would it be like? Would it be totally different from anything on Earth, or would it be like the creatures that live in Earth's harshest places? Overall, it's a tough place for life, with extreme challenges. Even though a livable planet around Proxima Centauri sounds cool, the reality is pretty rough. JWST is showing us how hard it would be for anything to live on Proxima B, and things aren't looking good. One of the biggest problems is the amount of radiation from Proxima Centauri. Red dwarf stars are smaller and more chaotic than our sun. Since Proxima B is so close, it's always getting blasted with strong solar radiation, including flares that are 100 times stronger than what our sun puts out. This creates a deadly mix of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation that would kill anything like the life we know on Earth. In 2021, a really big flare from Proxima Centauri was spotted, and it could have blown away any air that Proxima B had. That shows how dangerous red dwarf stars can be and makes it seem less likely that Proxima B could have life. The radiation would make the surface of Proxima B a terrible place to be. Any water would quickly turn into vapor, and the rocky ground would be burned by the constant heat. The dark side wouldn't be any better because it would be freezing cold. With such big differences between the hot and cold sides, there's not much chance for a stable, livable environment. So, the race to Proxima Centauri begins. While we don't know what's causing the signal from Proxima Centauri, the idea of going to that star system is becoming a real possibility. The Breakthrough Starshot Project, led by some smart scientists and supported by people like Stephen Hawking and Yuri Milner, wants to send tiny, laser-powered spaceships to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima Centauri, in our lifetime. Breakthrough Starshot's idea is really ambitious. They want to launch thousands of tiny spaceships, each the size of a postage stamp, into space. These star chips would be pushed by strong lasers, reaching speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light. The goal is for the spaceships to travel to Proxima Centauri in about 20 years, where they could send back information about the star system and its planets, like Proxima b. It's going to be really hard to do, but the potential rewards are huge. Finding out what Proxima b is really like, whether it has life or is just a dead world, could change how we understand life in the universe. What if Proxima b, this weird and unstable planet, is the key to understanding life in space? The search for alien life is one of the most important things humans are doing. But as we learn more about Proxima b and other planets, we realize that life might not look like what we expect. Proxima b might not be the perfect Earth we were hoping for, but it could be an important step in our search for knowledge about the universe. The search for life is just starting, and Proxima B is leading the way. Will we ever figure out Proxima B's secrets? Only time will tell, as we keep exploring with JWST and projects like Breakthrough Starshot. Maybe Proxima B, with all its challenges, isn't just a planet to study but a look into our future. The search for life, whether in our solar system or on planets far away, shows how curious humans are and how much we want to understand the universe. What we find out about Proxima B could shape the future of space, giving us important information about where life could exist on other planets. Even if Proxima B is too rough for life, what we learn from it could help us with other planets out there. Maybe we'll find worlds that are more livable, more like Earth, where life has found a way to survive in the toughest places. We'll keep pushing the limits of space, and we'll probably find even more mysteries that will challenge how we see the universe. Proxima B is a reminder of both the challenges of exploring other worlds and the amazing possibilities that are out there. It might not have life, but it's important because of the questions it raises and the to explore that it starts. With better technology and tools like JWST, we're closer than ever to answering one of humanity's biggest questions, are we alone? The search for life might take us to Proxima B or even further into space. And if we find life, whether it's tiny or something completely different, it will be a huge step forward in understanding the vast, mysterious universe that we're just starting to explore. No matter what happens, Proxima B will keep inspiring us to make new discoveries and explore for. Proxima B's secrets are coming out, and one of the biggest surprises is the air, or maybe the lack of it. The strong radiation from Proxima Centauri, plus the planet's close orbit, means that Proxima B is always getting hammered by solar wind and high-energy stuff. 
After a long time, this could have stripped away all the planet's air, leaving it empty and cold. But here's the twist, some scientists think Proxima b might still have a thin layer of air, maybe made of heavy gases like carbon dioxide or nitrogen. This could give it some protection from the star's radiation. The James Webb Space Telescope has given us the best look yet at what the surface of Proxima b is like, and it's both cool and strange. It looks like the planet's surface is rocky, like Earth, but with some big differences. For example, the side facing Proxima Centauri is probably super hot, like a desert. Meanwhile, the dark side is probably a frozen wasteland, colder than anything we've ever seen on Earth. But the most interesting part might be the strip of land between the hot and cold sides, called the twilight zone. This area where day meets night might be a bit more mild, where water could exist as a liquid. Liquid water is one of the most important things for life as we know it. Could this twilight zone be like a secret oasis where life has found a way to survive, even though the rest of the planet is so harsh? Another surprise came when scientists looked at the possibility of water on Proxima b. If there's water on the planet, it's probably ice on the dark side, or maybe some small puddles in the twilight zone. But what really shocked people was the idea that it might have oceans hidden under the surface, like Europa or Enceladus in our own solar system. These oceans could be warmed by the planet's core, or by the pull of Proxima b's star. If these oceans exist, they would be a great place to look for life hidden beneath the ice. But let's not forget the problems. The magnetic field of Proxima Centauri makes things even more complicated. Some studies say that the star's magnetic field could mess with the planet's core, creating its own magnetic field. This could protect the planet's air from being completely blown away by solar wind, like how Earth's magnetic field protects us from the sun's radiation. Even so, things on Proxima b are not so easy. The star's powerful flares could overpower the planet's defenses, causing big changes in the planet's weather and surface. These discoveries lead to even more questions. Does Proxima b have a magnetic field? How strong is it? And how does it affect the planet's air and whether or not life can exist there? Could life on Proxima b have changed to survive the planet's harsh conditions? And if life does exist, what would it be like? Would it be totally different from anything we've seen on Earth? Or could it be similar to the creatures that live in Earth's most extreme environments? It's likely a tough place to live here, where life faces big challenges. While the idea of a livable planet in Proxima Centauri is exciting, the truth is that it's far from welcoming. The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us what any possible life on Proxima b would have to deal with, and it's not pretty. One of the biggest problems is that the planet gets blasted with a ton of radiation from Proxima Centauri. Unlike our Sun, Proxima Centauri is a small red dwarf star with a chaotic surface. Because Proxima b is so close to this star, it's constantly getting hit with strong solar radiation, including flares that can be 100 times stronger than those from our Sun. These flares create a deadly combination of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation that would kill any life forms similar to those on Earth. This is not just a theory. In April 2021, a really big flare came from Proxima Centauri, and it was strong enough to possibly strip away any air that Proxima b might have had. This shows how dangerous red dwarf stars can be, and it makes us wonder if Proxima b could ever be a safe place for life. The constant radiation would make the surface of Proxima b really rough. Any water on the surface would quickly evaporate, and the rocky surface would be burned by the heat. The dark side of the planet wouldn't be any better, with freezing temperatures. The big difference between the hot side and the cold side leaves little room for a stable environment where life could thrive. The race to get to Proxima Centauri is on. While the signal from Proxima Centauri is still a mystery, the idea of actually going to the star system is becoming a reality. The Breakthrough Starshot program, led by some smart scientists and supported by people like Stephen Hawking and Yuri Milner, wants to send tiny spacecraft to the Alpha Centauri system, including Proxima Centauri, in our lifetime. The idea behind Breakthrough Starshot is bold. They plan to launch thousands of tiny spacecraft, each about the size of a postage stamp. These star chips would be pushed by strong lasers, reaching speeds of up to 20% of the speed of light. The goal is to send these spacecraft on a 20-year trip to Proxima Centauri, where they could send back info about the star system and its planets, including Proxima b. There are a lot of challenges, 
but the potential rewards are huge. Finding out what Proxima b is really like, whether it has life or is just a dead planet, could change how we see life in the universe. What if Proxima b, this weird and changing planet, holds the key to understanding life in space? Looking for life beyond Earth is one of the most important things we can do. But as we learn more about Proxima b and other faraway planets, we're starting to realize that life might not be what we expect. Proxima b might not be the paradise we hoped for, but it could be an important step in our search for knowledge about the universe. The search for life is just beginning, and Proxima b is leading the way. But will we ever unlock the secrets of Proxima b? Only time, the James Webb Space Telescope, and programs like Breakthrough Starshot will tell. Maybe Proxima b, with all its problems, isn't just a planet to study, but a look into our future. Looking for life, whether in our own solar system or on planets far away, shows how curious we are and how much we want to understand the universe. What we find out about Proxima b could shape the future of space exploration, giving us important clues about where life might exist. Even if Proxima turns out to be a tough place to live, what we learn from it could help us understand other planets. We might find planets that are more welcoming, more like Earth, where life has found a way to survive even in difficult environments. The quest for knowledge will never end. And as we push the limits of space exploration, we'll find even more things that will challenge what we think we know about the universe. Proxima b is a reminder of both the challenges and the possibilities of exploring other worlds. It may or may not have life, but it's important because of the questions it raises and the exploration it inspires. With better technology and instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, we're closer than ever to answering a big question, are we alone? The search for life might lead us to Proxima b, or maybe even further. And if we find life, whether it's tiny organisms or something completely different, we'll have taken a huge step in understanding the vast universe that we're just starting to explore. No matter what happens, Proxima b will be a symbol of our goals, inspiring future scientists and explorers for generations to come.